I'm Brandon Smith, known as Lord of Flames. I'm a producer, director, the editor, well, and character design. Not the make of anything. I'm just doing things for to make this movie come to life. Hi, my name is Jared Ledger, and I, uh, and I play, the play the character of uh, Brandon Smith's friend. Uh, I forgot his name because, well, he's just uh, Corey. I played that guy, uh, Corey, in the house, and, and I was in that, for that movie, The Undead. Hello, everyone. My name is Gupton, and I was the guy who filmed the other film that Jeremy and Brandon were acting in it. Only with free characters instead. So because if this, if if I had to add so many characters, this would be like in 15 minutes or something. So I put up with free characters, put one kind of small scene between one of them, and that's it. I try to figure out some names will be like, and that's why it gave me some random ideas. Back in Google so search up, searching all kind of lists of every names. For any kind of people who were born in thank you google and so those names had come up but one of them had to be the news reporter to tell up some breaking news that something bad happened in the cemetery so that gave me an idea huh bring a news report telling about something bad because if i didn't add the news report this will all be suck because there's something really bad happening right now for what's going on something need to be known so that's why I brought the news reporter in the movie. Play as by Duke, a friend of mine back in school. Since it all started when I met Duke back in high school. Mm, from last year, or probably two years ago. Uh, we talked a little bit throughout these kind of classes of my life. Well, I felt a little bit uh, annoying by him back then, but now when I get used to talk to him, for more years later, I was like, huh, I'm fine. Yeah, just a friend. Basically, pretty much uh, this guy who finds a dead, undead mask, and but he puts it on, he becomes an undead zombie. He tells his friend about it, his friend lied about it. Corey lied about it. And let's just say that uh, his friend wasn't too happy when Corey confessed that he lied. That he's a liar. A liar. A liar. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's dead. Oh. That's good. <laughs> oh. Okay. I mean, my job was to just have film recorder, so like I record all what is it based on uh, using, uh, I think, Jeremy's phone or the film all the actions. And I did play one part in that film, which is um, um, a news reporter. And I felt like my cast, I did pretty job, pretty good on my job. Ever since, I was like, you know what? I can do this. I can do this. I can follow the rules. I can do, I know what I'm doing. I can do something right. And so, I started to make some ideas for what this guy's short film will be like in five minutes. Here you go. I lied. All up. Just my crazy little imagination. Sorry, man. Later. And I was been drawing a little bit of ideas we're thinking of what the, the zombie, this kind of zombie on dead might look like. So, I brought out some idea that he might just look a bit more scary looking. But the idea of having a teeth or looking a bit part of the skull head or anything. I brought out some, put some little bit of shadows or anything to make him a little bit scary looking. Make him much more zombified. But when Jeremy comes over, since we're all be ready to make the final scene. To get things right for the script. 
And so when he brought his stuff with him to the make for the makeup, he's mostly brought his own ideas, and then he's mostly doing a little bit parts of the makeup. But it looks a bit just like mine, but a little bit more different, a little more hum humanoid zombie. And so he puts some little bit shadow looking some part of the eyelids, and a little bit parts for the for part of my cheeks. Because he supposed to make it look like a bit like a skeleton looking, but with a little bit of flesh. And so, much how he covered my mouth with these kind of looking blacky stuff, it supposed to be some random black looking teeth, and mostly brought a skull nose looking. But, it looks like the way how the zombie is, and brought a little bit of blood dripping, and I'm all done. And brought a little bit of my own good old gray hoodie I had back in those years. When I first used it for the Killer Flames short film back then and used it a little bit more to this film. And so, I got a little bit one of my Halloween costumes back in those years and brought one to be part of the cloth looking thing to make it a little bit look a bit messy and brought some little bit gloves. And I'm all done now. You look a little bit like a ready zombie who wants to eat brains. <laughs> Man, being a part of it was one of the coolest things I've ever been part of. I was really interested when I when I got involved. Um, the reason why I would like to act in this is because I I always want to be famous. Like everyone should know that. And so we all had me and Jeremy brought the camera with us and brought mostly how will the blood come. We mostly ask our grant. I ask my. For Grandma, Mrs. K, about something for a blood dripping, it, it's something something we could use. My child Jeremy have one of those kind of fake blood liquid things that peels something. But I asked Mrs. K if, if we can use some type of bowl or rather a spray looking thing filled with fake blood with mixed with water and blood dripping to make it look like blood. But my child, everybody in Hollywood use type of stuff. But we use our own ideas. So she gave us one of these one of the kinda of looking old spray bottles with us. But we cover it and make sure we still have it. And we do. And then thanks to our grandma. Well my grandma, thanks to her, who gave us the some ideas for the spray bottle or anything for us to find. Boy, it, it was it was amazing. It felt, it felt great. Great. The experience working there was actually quite nice. Uh, I got to I got to do the makeup. I I was acting a lot. I was running around. I get to I get to have some creative differences. I got to control half of the script. It was fun. Don't you, Brandon Smith would agree? But I think he would he would put me in the back of the back of the. Room. Watch how we all walk outside. Me, Jeremy asked me to hide my face around the street or anything because much how we're in the public place with every house that's around the left and right and much how there are a little bit cars coming but the street but the street closer to us is a cemetery we walk there a little bit fast and I try to hide it because much how Jeremy thinks I look like kind of looking killer or something like that that people might just call the police or anything once they saw me well I try but much how it's useless but nothing, nothing didn't happen so we got to the cemetery find kind of place that we could choose and I found one. It's mostly the place where every grave's around at the back, but mostly to the front. It's mostly a big tree. And we chose that spot. And we got everything set up. We put the the spray bottle filled with fake blood behind with us, and mostly. And we done a little bit of scene with Jeremy act as Corey. That he used one of those kind of looking 2004 cell phones or something like that. Those old kind of type of phones. That he used one of them. Like I didn't know he had those type of phones. Because it does look a bit like in those old days back in 2004 or anything else. Or 2001. He used one of them that can make a ring call thing. And while he pretends to call someone. Since I made an idea for the script takes place in the cemetery that Corey is calling his mom on the phone that he's doing alright, that he'll be there very soon at the hospital. But my child, he wants to take some breaks around. 
and life and sits down, take a breath or anything, just relaxing, having a good sunny day. But I tell that, Mattel, I want horror in this film. Mattel, the undead slasher with Kyle, just peer out of nowhere behind the tree and kills him. But how we do something for the kill? Well, it's because that we use that spray bottle. But much as I said that out with the spray, I thought something would be better. But no one's just doing like a air spray thing. But no, we. So Jeremy took an idea that he grabs the bottle. I was like, hey, what are you doing? And then he took the and he took the the cover out the spray splatter thing. But rather he used the the bottle. And do like this. And I was like, oh, God damn, you're, you're smart. I was at Cora, he just plays Brandon's friend. Oh, friend. He spreads a, a friend, tells his friend a lie about the mask, and let's just say that, uh, so the mask thing is actually true. It wasn't made up, it was real. But Cora lied about it being a lie, being lying about it. So basically, he's a love of lie. He lied about a lie that that lie turned out to be the truth, so he's telling the truth about a lie whose which lie is the truth. Try try to say that by Tony's mask. <laughs> My favorite scene must have been uh, the confession. Confession scene. No, it's but the scene with the tree. Oh the tree scene like just splashing a lot of stuff over and over and over again. Again and again and that actually do and I thanks to the character because he actually did because I actually did the makeup. It actually looks pretty scary if you look at it real closely. Trust me. Watch out, we all be ready to get this movie very soon. Very soon to be part of the MBK short film challenge. But, much of my idea is like, well, since I'm going to upload it and show it to an MBK, I was like, well, I can, my film can still be part of the challenge to be shown in this channel. But mostly can add it to my other channel to show a little bit more and so i brought those two ideas send it to it to send it to patrick on gmail and send another one to my other channel to be shown a little bit to anyone watching it i was thinking of well i had to put it on listed if i might get trouble on patrick if my den is shown to his channel for the challenge so i'll just leave it Behind with those questions and leave it that way. Favorite character though? Well, no, I don't have one. Maybe the news pronouncer guy. News? Maybe the news guy? I think. I don't know. I don't know. I, didn't, I don't really have a favorite character. I might say. But Brandon Over, his favorite character would be the dead guy who would do the heavy breathing. And, uh, that kind of gets on my nerves sometimes. Don't tell him, or else will he'll boot me off the projects. I'll get. Uh, and um, a lot of people notice me in school already, so I just do something else for more, even more and more people to know me and that's why I decided to have a part in this film to act it out and I hope that when you guys watch it you're gonna like it. Much of I've been enjoy of making this film with my friends I enjoy and I appreciate those I, I appreciate it with my friends they're really amazing to be part of this film if I had to bring them back for more they would be happy to be part of it once again and so I love those guys. They did amazing to be part of it. Not because for the film, just because of we're having fun, having fun with each other, making this film together. So we got everything ready. It was all thanks to that idea. Thanks to MBK made that idea with MBK short film challenge. But with an idea of making the undead movie with zombies or anything, it changed everything throughout. And it will be known very soon, probably in the future. But near perfection, um, I guess we could just reverse the shot of one scene involving a tree, but uh, they're all, it's just pretty good. And um, the movie, the film was alright. The film was alright. It actually got into a film contest. What would have to it though, since we never really got it. We had a sequel, it was funny. I, I, I played the guy who, who was trapped in the basement. I kept just, I kept, just kept roasting. Rustin, the main character, Jeffrey, was so funny. Uh, if you watch the film, you understand now. Thank you. See you next month. Much how I truly liked it all for this film. Thanks to my friends. Thanks to my family. And I appreciate you all. And thank you, MBK. 
much how I would like to see more zombies in my franchise a little bit. But think about something different, of like this. What will it be like of being a zombie? Something that you will see in your nightmares, in the darkness, will take you there. I'm Lord Flames. This is one hell of a ride. That's so decent of you. Wait, what? What do you mean it was all the way to the end? Yeah, we'll go home. Bye bye. Awesome. And I want to ask one more question. Yes. What is it like to come back for another sequel of The Undead? Um, it's, um, it's, it's good because I like sitcom. Sitcoms, um, you know, normally they play sitcom on television. So that's why, the reason why I chose to come back. But this sitcom is to, like I said, people want more people to know me based on just of the sitcom, and I hope they know me and you like it. <laughs>